Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, He's open. His head wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everyone, it's Mario Man 100 back again with a new Let's Play and since we've got Sonic Cross Shadow Generations coming up at the end of this year, I'd say probably in November, uh, and I've been meaning to do this for a while, let's have a look at uh, a game I've already technically looked at in terms of my Let's Plays and actually the first Let's Play I ever did for this channel with Sonic Generations. Now actually this is the PS3 version of the game when I did it last time I did it with the Xbox 360 version and it was 70 years ago. I was going to do this as like a anniversary of the original uh, Let's Play but considering again like I said uh, Sonic Cross Shadow Generations comes out uh, towards the end of this year unless it possibly gets delayed but um, and it hence re-release technically of this game we might as well uh, do a Let's Play now, which I've been playing, planning to do for quite some time. I think I was going to do it in 2021, I think, with the anniversary of me doing the game, uh, originally. Um, which didn't, didn't end up working out, obviously. Uh, I didn't really think about it too much. Um, but yeah, so we got Sonic Generations for the PlayStation 3. Plays on it because it has been a while since I actually played Generations. Uh, it's been many, many years since I played Generations. So, um, yeah, and I'm actually going to be doing it proper this time because uh, I played it on my original save file on the 360 version and completely skipped um, Green Hill Zone. Uh, but the reason for that, originally when I did that, was that I did the video on the demo, which was technically, obviously, a Green Hill Zone. <laughs> but yeah, we have Green Hill Zone, so we're actually going to do it properly this time, uh, in terms of playing this game. I forget that I gotta jump for that. <laughs> like I said, it's been a little while since I played this. Now, I did end up getting every achievement and every trophy in the original game, so, um. So, I'm not gonna get the achievement for getting under a minute in this, uh, in this. <laughs> in this stage, but I have done that before, so, uh... So yeah, we're playing as, a uh, regular Sonic, and not a, uh... Well, actually, if I can just <laughs> load up with the suspense at the moment anyway, because, um... We're just playing as classic Sonic, because we've technically played this game before, so it's not really too much of a spoiler. Uh, I guess the game will come out again in, like I said, November, but usually is, like, the time frame when these 
when the Sonic games come out, so um, might not get any of the uh, trophies for the initial stage because I actually did play this, so I think this is my original copy on the PlayStation 3 that I bought so many years ago. Um, but I'm not, I can't remember if it is. It might be my second copy of it, but... Yeah, I've had the PS3 version for quite some time. Um, my friend Jordan actually has my original Xbox 360 copy um, that I played all those years ago. Um, so he has that copy now. Um, whereas I have the PS3 version, obviously I didn't have an Xbox for a while. Um, like I sold my, P my 360 and didn't have an Xbox for a while, so I was like, well, what's the point of me keeping my copy? And I was like, well, I thought I'd give it to him because it's a good game, and uh, yeah, I usually do give him good games. <laughs> Yeah, so it's Sonic's birthday. We don't know which of his birthdays it is, but again, in real life, of course, uh, this game came out for the 20th anniversary. So we technically say he's 20, but we don't know. <laughs> There's like all sorts of references to uh, like the Sonic Team logo as the cake image, the chili dog. All these different friends from all the different eras, like even Blaze is here, which is weird because uh, obviously she's in another dimension in terms of canon, so it's a bit strange that, he, that uh, Blaze is here. But obviously, this was released after Sonic Colors. And again, uh, it was about a year after uh, Colors come out. I think actually it was about 11 months. So, um, yeah, it was interesting. The story isn't that long, and it's not really as complex as it could be. Um, which kind of was a bummer for an anniversary game, especially, because, uh, of course, we had Sonic 6, which, uh, oof. That game was meh. <sighs> we don't really talk about that game. Uh, and then we had Adventure 2 for the 10th anniversary, which was great as well. And then obviously we for the 5th anniversary, we technically had uh, 3D Blast, I think, technically come out at that time, because that was 96, uh, which was the year I was born, which some, I know a lot of people know. Um, yeah, we're going to have the saving prompt pop up all the time. We're not going to be able to go too far, obviously. And then it plays on the question marks. Obviously, which is really cool. I like that. Especially when you're playing out for the first time. It's... It's fantastic. Then it gives you a little bit of suspense. It's like, oh, what is this? I don't know what this is, but it's a new stage. And it does it for the entire game when you do a new save file with all the stages that are in this game. So it's pretty cool in that regard. Well, music took a second to, uh... Oh, I haven't got the air boost. Okay, Stomp is still... Drift is that one. I'm guessing Quick Steps, obviously, the R1 and L1 buttons. No, it's a stick. Didn't mean to stomp there, but I forgot that that's not solid ground. See, I remember that. <laughs> I've played this stage so many goddamn times. Yeah, it's weird not doing it with the bumpers, because I think uh, with the uh, 
Xbox 360 version. I think it's bumpers, but it might be stick as well. Again, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game, so wouldn't be surprised if uh... Yeah, this Sonic Adventure pose. Oh, no. Got it. I missed the uh, the wall jump, but obviously we don't get that until a little bit later. There we go, just a normal uh, ramp there. I love the sense of speed you can get in this game because, like, the, the music kind of funneling out is great. Oop, yep, and that's my PS3, considering it's in, you know, one of the 60 gig PS3s back in the day. It's gonna chug like a fucking jet engine again. It's probably the only thing that I'm gonna have that's gonna suck about uh, playthroughs on this thing, um, which I haven't got many games to do uh, on the PS3, or well, in, in terms of playing it for a, a decent chunk, it's gonna turn into a jet engine, um, which is not ideal. So we save Tails. Here, right? Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. That's this a subtle hint that, Sonic of course, it was introduced in Sonic, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which Green Hill wasn't a part of. <laughs> Reference to secret rings and colors, which is great. <laughs> It's funny how some of the color is missing, and yet we've beaten the stage with both characters. And Tails doesn't realize it's a different Sonic. <laughs> they don't really look, uh, yeah, <laughs> hit the suspense at all. It took a second to load there. It might do that for every. I didn't get a red. Oh, that's right, I didn't get any red rings at all. Uh, yep, so that's gonna go again. Can I set. I can't, okay. So I might exit the game now, because obviously it has saved. And it saves when you quit, which is good. Um, and then set, uh, of course, uh, the. Go into the options menu. When it loads up, options menu. Uh, go to subtitles and make sure I press confirm. It's one of those games. <laughs> uh, that way, people can read. Now, live will continue. The, the fact that it can it can also be like classics on it as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Nice attention to detail. Pretty sure, pretty sure Classic Sonic can do it too. I don't think it's just uh, Modern Sonic. And then we go to my favourite stage in all Sonic. Uh, with Chemical Plant. And this is one that I absolutely love, yeah. So I can switch between the two, obviously. Act 1 tends to be easier. Yeah, I think, man, yeah, arguably, yeah. I think some of the stages might be a little bit easier. Not every single one of them, but I think the majority of the stages, I think, are a bit easier in Act 1 than Act 2.
but uh, yeah, we go to. Arguably, probably this is my favourite stage in the game. There's a lot of really good ones. Like, Green Hill, like, the fact that it keeps coming back in so many goddamn games is really crap, but it is a great stage in, in this game, and this game doesn't disappoint. Turned a little bit too sharp. Now there is an achievement, I believe, in this stage that uh if you don't land in the purple water um, at all during the stage, you will get an achievement for it, which is great. Obviously, this section apparently doesn't count. Now, obviously, the rings at the far end obviously are there to. Uh, So I'm not going to get the achievement, obviously, but uh, I have, like I said, I have gotten every achievement for this game. Because I enjoyed it that much, like, like, this game in particular is so good. Like, I even know that I got a boost there to get the, uh... Usually don't get hit by those, but uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously show them, show them what they do. And then the good little grabbers. Fucking love this song too. It's so good. Yeah. So you might not. See, you can see it in the background a little bit. The. Uh, The purple water was rising, obviously, as you could see. There is a spring back there that I could use to to get up to the far end. And there we go. Arguably, probably my favourite stage. I, I love replaying Chemical Plane Act 2 so much. It is such a good stage. Fantastic stage. And obviously they're just loading in the cutscene as well. Uh, since we've played Modern Sonic. This chemical plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that pink water makes me really nervous. And that's like a meta joke from so many people dying in this in this stage in Sonic 2, and it was only the second stage. Because you could drown in pink water, <laughs> uh, which which sucked <laughs> back in the day. Because I was definitely one of them when I played uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the first time, which was quite a number of years ago. Um, never played it obviously on a Genesis. I would love to do that one day if there was a if there was a Genesis. Like if I could get my hands on Genesis and a copy of that game that is still working. I'd love to play that. Love to play that game. And obviously get artwork and all sorts of different stuff with the uh, red rings. That was really loading there. Didn't get this as much in uh, the 360 version, but. Again, developing for the PS3 obviously wasn't ideal um, for a lot of developers between 2006 and obviously 2013. Love this radio. This fucking soundtrack, just in general, fantastic.
I got the little bit of up here on the first one. Oh shit, I forgot to let that was there. I think I can even roll into a ball um, in normal play as well. Yes, I can. <laughs> I was like, wait, can I do that? Yeah, Spin Dash, for whatever reason, is really, really powerful in this game. If you're trying to get a sense of speed, the Spin Dash, easiest ways to do that. Love the speed shoes in yeah, there. Uh, Like, I, I like uh, Act 2's remix, obviously, more than, than, than Act 1's, but Act 1 is still great, still, still harkens back to. Now you won't get notified on which uh, red ring you've collected until you beat the stage. Um, and when you go to the main hub world again, it will tell you. I'm surprised that I nearly missed the fucking A rank on that. I thought I did really well then, but it <laughs> took its time to fill up that last bar, or the last part of the bar. Like, is it going to certainly give it to me, or...? Because I'm pretty sure the game does tell you which... which... Uh -huh. See, I'm sure on the 360 version, I'm sure it tells you which red ring it is that you collected. In the stage, because you can keep an eye on that. I'm not sure though. Like I said, it's a bit of... Wow, you look younger every day. What's your secret? Now, ultimately you get uh, cool interactions between characters in your classic Sonic and modern Sonic. You get two different cutscenes. And obviously you can talk to... Uh, talk to the characters, they might give you a little tip. And it's funny, because uh, we've got classic tales here. Which is weird. The only uh, classic character we have in this game, apart from classic Sonic, which is very, very strange. I hope they kind of elaborate that on uh, Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, I'm not going to say Sonic X Shadow Generations, because it's very much like Street Fighter Cross Tekken um, in, in style. Uh, do not look up Sonic Cross Shadow online, <laughs> please. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Let's just say the results that you might get are not great. Now that's a bottomless pit, obviously, as you can see the sign there. Now, Sky Sanctuary obviously is a harder stage. Uh, obviously, it was one of the last stages in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and we will officially call it that because it is... Yes, I don't even know how I hit that egg robo, but I'll take it. That is one of the hardest shortcuts in the game to accomplish. I almost got hit by that too. Yeah, it tells you that you can use the spin dash, but obviously you can use the spring as well to get up there. It's just the spin dash is obviously easier. Yeah, you've got to hold in the spin dash for a couple, like a second. But like I said, this soundtrack 
fucking amazing. Like, I, I think that arguably there's only a couple of tracks that I don't like in the game, but so many of them are so good, especially if you grew up with the franchise since the beginning. Um, this game is amazing for that. It's weird, because it's like, Mania obviously uh, felt like an anniversary game after this, and did a lot of things that Generations did correct as well. Get invincibility. of the blend of like it is like a 3D game but you get like a 2.5D perspective you're going like in and out all the time which is really really cool I like I like that about this game I think that it does it well I don't know how I got hit by that I must have hit his foot <laughs> Because uh, they will kill you um, with that spinner, because uh, it's not ideal. Going a completely different route, but considering I missed like the spring uh, earlier to go up to the top route, technically, I'm doing it <laughs> this stage a different way. It's been a while since I played with like, this that part of the stage. Now you gotta make sure that you hit the end of that. Halfway, and uh, weird thing is, you get three red rings at the end of that, and you got three different ways to get to those platforms as well. Um, even though, yes, it is 2D, um, I forget what that trophy is. Oh, I thought I didn't reach. Oh, because my rings, okay, that's right. Especially if you get a lot of rings in this stage and don't lose any, you get a lot of points for that. Um, obviously, the time is. Give, gives you a lot more points, obviously, but, um, yeah, the harder stages will have a threshold. So before we go into Sky Sanctuary with Monon, uh, let's go over to the left, because we can go to the left now. And go to our um, Michelle's store and have all these skills as well. And obviously, we can buy extra lives as well if we need them. Yeah, so we have all sorts of different skills, and obviously, if you buy them once, we don't have to buy them again. Yeah, and you have all sorts of different skills that you can buy in the game, obviously. Um, athleticism to make your speed a bit better, you know, you get things, you got the information pod here for like normal Q&A and then obviously you have your gameplay records as well which you can view. Now it says 122 stages but uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, there we go. 
in here. We've got the collection room. So we only have a couple at the moment. There's all sorts of different music tracks, which uh, we don't have any of, but uh, they will end up being um, music tracks from other games in the franchise, or like all over the franchise in general. We have like obviously concept art from stages and stuff like that as well uh, in this game. Obviously the totem poles. Um, there was a 3DS version of this game. So um, that would be a bit more prevalent in that version of the game. And then the movies, we can see the cutscenes that obviously we have seen so far in the game. As you can see, 13 cutscenes in the game, so not a lot of stuff um, in this game.